and welcome to Mr. Thompson's math tutorials. Today what we're going to look at is how do I find an equation with two points on a parabola. So uh, one of the things that we're going to use today, which we haven't used in the past, but is this right here. And this is the, the vertex form of the quadratic equation. So vertex form, okay? And the thing to know about the vertex form is actually this h right here, when we substitute into it, and this k right here, those are actually the points of the vertex. So for instance, if I had a parabola with a vertex of 1 and 4, then in this equation, I would substitute the h, this would be my h, and this would be my k, I would substitute the h with 1 and the k with 4, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, this formula right here, sorry, this equation right here, and two points from um, the parabola to find the equation, okay? Um, this and this are very much related, okay? And again, h and k are the uh, x-coordinates for h and the y-coordinate for k. So let's move on and see how exactly we do this. Sorry, let me clear my ink. Here we go. Okay. So let's say I have this parabola right here, this blue one right here. Okay. And I want to find what is the equation of this parabola. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the vertex and I'm going to use another point. Now I picked this other point right here because it's just easy to figure out what it is. It's 2 and 2, right? Sorry, I should have gone this way. It's 2 and 2. Um, the vertex we know okay, um, is right there. Okay, So I can see that the vertex is 1, 4, and the other point I'm going to use is 2, 2. All right, let's move on. Okay, now I'm going to substitute the vertex into the vertex form, and you can see that I've done that here, but let's just say, you know, once again, here's the vertex form of this equation. It's minus h squared plus k. So I'm substituting the h and the k, and again, my h is the x value. So this x value, which was... 1 and 4, I'm going to substitute my 1 in here, and then I'm going to substitute my 4 for the k, okay? This is your h value, this is your k value, okay? Onwards we go. Okay, so now I'm going to solve for the other point. So I've got where I've substituted in this. Now that other point, what I'm going to do, this is the x in this formula. If you remember what we had here, we had y equals a times x minus 1 squared plus 4. Okay, that's after we substituted in our h and k values. So what I want to do is solve for this a. So what I did is I used that other point. If you remember, the other point was 2, 2. So the y value is 2, so I substituted a 2 in there. And my x value was 2, so I substituted a 2 in there. And then I'm just going to work through and, and solve this. And eventually, I'll end up with my, my a value down at the bottom. So first thing I need to do is, is follow my rules of, of orders of operation. So bedmas, right? There are brackets, so I need to do those first. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's what I did there. And then I'm doing miss again, which is my exponent this time. So I'm squaring 1, and that's going to give me 1. But 1 times a would just be a, so I get a. So now I need to get this 4 out of here. So I'm subtracting 4 from both sides of the equation. Uh, that cancels those two out. And then 2 minus 4 would be negative 2. So I know that a is equal to negative 2. Now, that's great, because now I can substitute that a value into this equation. So I can say that y is actually equal to negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 4. And this is the vertex form of that um, parabola that we just saw. Now, what if I want to take the vertex form? Oh, yeah, sorry, here we go. I'm writing it out completely. Now, if we want to take the vertex form and put it into um, the quadratic form that we're used to seeing, we just have to do some algebra. So let's kind of follow through and see how we're going to do this. And again, I'm just following order of operations here. So I'm just following Bedmus. 
and I'm just gonna kind of basically squaring this and then collecting like terms and, and dropping brackets and following through. Okay, so I'm gonna square this, um, this x minus one. So it's x minus one times x minus one. So I'm gonna foil it, right? So that's first times first. So that'll give me my x squared. Then it's um, outside times outside. So it's gonna be my x times my negative one, which is this right here. Then it's inside times inside. So it's this negative one times this x. So right there. And then I have negative one times negative one, which gives me positive one, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, add those two together. That gives me my negative 2x right here. Okay, I need to distribute this negative 2 to all three terms. Okay, so negative 2 times x squared is negative x squared, negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2x right here is going to give me positive 4x. And negative 2 times positive 1 is going to give me negative 2. I drop the brackets. Okay, and then I'm going to add the 4. So the brackets have been dropped here. You can see there's no brackets anymore here. And basically I'm saying negative 2 plus 4, which is positive 2. And then that's my, um, my standard form for that. Or not standard form, sorry, quadratic form for that. And thank you for watching.